Hello Sagittarius, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at your energies, their energies, what's going on in the connection, and what are their next actions going to be towards you. As always, it's a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. Check out my playlist for Sagittarius if this does not resonate for you. You can get to the playlist by clicking on my username here on YouTube, and it'll take you to my homepage. Scroll down, and you'll see that I have a playlist for every sign. All right, so let's get into this for Sagittarius. This will be for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind for Sagittarius. What messages do you have for them in love? What is going on for them in love at this time? Okay, we got getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay, so let's get some more energies here. I'm using my brand new Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is a physical version of the digital deck that I have in my shop. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be putting this one for sale soon, but if it does go on sale, I'll obviously let you know. All right, Spirit, what are the energies surrounding this connection for Sagittarius? What are the energies surrounding this connection for Sagittarius, please? Okay, we got time out, timing, patience, waiting. Time is of the essence. Okay, what else can we get for Sagittarius? What are the energies surrounding this connection? Pure seduction, lust, temptation, desire. You're being tempted to give in to your desires. So what I'm getting is um, chemistry. I'm getting, it's almost like a, like a pent up energy with timeout and pure seduction. Um, I feel like there's, there's, just something that um it's like you meet this person maybe you've already met them in the past and have had a connection with them or you've recently met them but you meet this person and it's like very different for you um it's like you've been waiting for this person or it's like they come at the right time something like that we'll see about, um what the tarot says but bottom of the deck there is victory lap success recognition triumph you are being recognized and admired for your success so i feel like there's some sort of like this is leading to something successful so let's see let's see what the tarot says for sagittarius please spirit give us some more insight what's going on for them in love eight of cups on for Sagittarius and love. Justice, wow. Libra energy. What's going on for them in love? Two of Wands reversed. Two of Swords reversed at the bottom. I'm seeing someone has made a decision of some sort hangman um maybe they've gotten clarity seeing things from a different perspective a different angle and it's helped them make some sort of a decision page of cups reverse disappointment heartbreak hmm. so with justice here i feel like something's being made right um there's a final decision perhaps being made something even legal could be going on in this connection it could be affecting you or someone that you are dealing with but this could just be the balance of the scales like something being restored or balanced here now with the eight of cups i feel like someone has is going on a journey or has walked away from something um let's see let's clarify let me clarify spirit Going on here for Sagittarius. What's going on here? There's 
justice again. Justice reversed with the Nine of Wands. So interesting. It's like something hasn't felt fair for a long time. Okay, so let's see. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Let's get an idea of what's going on. This is what's going on in your connection right now or the current situation. These are the energies between you, the mutual energies. So this could be all about you, Sagittarius, your person, or both of you. Okay, Page of Swords reverse. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups. We have the Seven of Wands. So someone is no longer uh, listening to another person. Perhaps there's been deception here. And someone's like fighting back. Strength reverse, Leo energy. Why is strength reversed? Why is strength reversed? <laughs> Nine of Wands came out again. So what I'm getting is that someone here, it's, it's like something has been happening for a while. So that's why I feel the time out card is here. Um, there's trust issues. Um, perhaps someone has their guard up. Um, someone's tired, exhausted. Um, maybe there is uh, baggage that they're carrying here. I feel like someone's just like wary of someone else's intentions. And so there's resistance. It's like someone isn't sure they can believe someone else's words or if they're telling the whole truth. King of Swords reverse. Yeah, it's like someone is thinking that they're being lied to. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Maybe they're, that they're saying they're going to put in effort, but they're not. Something like that. Tell me about justice. Why is justice here? This will not resonate for everyone, but if it is resonating for you, then leave me a comment. Let me know if it resonating, if it's resonating for you, because I'd love to hear from you guys. Two of Cups reverse. Tell me more about justice. Four of Swords. Some of you, um, this is a divorce. This could have already happened or is happening right now. Um, others of you, I feel like um, you've made a final decision, whether this was in the past or this is going on now. You've made a decision, I feel, to leave a partnership. And I'm getting it's because you are in a really good place and you, it's like you don't want this to... Uh, ruin what you have for yourself or perhaps you're you're recognizing your value here tell me about this queen of pentacles there's this queen of pentacles here there's the queen of pentacles here yeah empress so you are recognizing your value and that's why you've made a, a choice here like this is i'm seeing that this is you This could also be that someone has recognized your value and they are making some sort of decisions regarding you. Oh, sorry. Because a path has been chosen here with the two of wands reversed. Someone has chosen a path. And I feel they're walking away from something in order to go down this path. Tell me about the two of wands reverse. What is this about? Wow, knight of cups. 
they've chosen a path and it's like maybe um, they're off to express themselves um, or apologize. Tell me more about this two of wands reverse. Yeah, justice. Justice again, upright this time. Well, I mean upright because I was shuffling and I saw it reversed earlier, but justice twice here. I feel like this is exactly, it's like this is an offer that is fair and balanced to you. Um, this could be somebody um, asking for, you know, saying they're sorry, asking for forgiveness, trying to make something right here with you. Tell me more about this two of wands reverse. King of Swords. Yeah, this is someone's coming to talk. Um, they want to have a conversation. And this is a very um, serious conversation with Justice and the King of Swords. Like this, they both mean business. They're both holding this sword of truth and clarity. Bottom of the deck, I have the Three of Wands. So it's like they're waiting for the right time to speak, or perhaps they're traveling to see you, or waiting for something here. Very interesting. So let's see. Let's get some more information about each of you specifically. Tell me about Sagittarius and this other person. What are the energies that Sagittarius is bringing to this connection spirit? Yeah, look at this. Restoring balance. Resolution, harmony, stability. Balance is being restored. So another card about like fairness balance justice tell me about the person that sagittarius is dealing with what are the energies that they're bringing to this connection divine timing so another card about time trust and divine timing faith fortune destiny Now, Sagittarius, I have you on this side and I have your person on the other, but it can be flipped. So feel free to flip it as it resonates for you. But to avoid confusion, this is you and this is them for me. Uh, bottom of the deck, we have love letters. So message, confession, response, a special message is on its way. So I feel like someone here is like waiting for the right time uh, to send you some sort of message with the Knight of Cups. Okay, so let's get some tarot cards here. Tell me more about how these two are thinking or feeling about one another. What is Sagittarius thinking or feeling about this other person? What are their energy spirit? We have Death Reversed and the Six of Cups. Wow. Very interesting. Death reverse Scorpio energy. This is someone that's resisting and ending, uh, resisting change. Um, this is someone that has a delayed ending as well. Like the, the ending or the cycle could be delayed and then have the six of cups, which is about the past. Have to clarify that death card reverse so tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with oh I forgot to grab some animal spirits okay hold on tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with at this time what are their thoughts or feelings towards Sagittarius or this connection Knight of Wands okay there's that passion motivation attraction taking action here and then the moon Pisces energy so it could be that they're taking action in secret maybe you don't know uh, why they're doing something or if they're doing something there could be um, something hidden uh, hidden motives because I feel like some of you are definitely like doubting this person's intentions Let's get some um, energy cards for both of you. Tell me more about 
Sagittarius and their person. Tell me more about their energies. Tell me more about Sagittarius and the energy they bring to this connection. Tell me more, Spirit. About Sagittarius and the energy they bring to this connection. Frog. Okay, so healing, renewal. Cleansing here. It's like you want to... This is all about fixing something. Tell me about the person. And this could be self-love, self-healing. Um, it could also be wanting to heal a situation or restore a situation. Tell me about the person. Yeah, okay. So you're thinking of a new beginning here. But this could also be your person. So I'm going to put this kind of like in the middle here because I was... I didn't fully ask my question, but I was thinking about you when I was shuffling. So tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. The bear is all about a new beginning, a new cycle. Ra okay, so raccoon. So you feel that this is someone who's wearing some sort of a mask, who um, is being shifty doing things in the dark. So this does go with this energy here. So let's get some clarity into both of your energies here. Let's clarify. Tell me more. Show me clarity, Spirit. Let's see. Why is death reverse? death reverse ace of pentacles reverse why is death reverse knight of swords interesting I feel like you want to talk to this person as well. Perhaps this is someone that's coming to talk to you because they don't want something to end, even though there's been a broken partnership here or some sort of loss. Someone could be coming in, this person, to talk to you and it's like they, they, they're trying to convince you not to end something here. Can I get one more for the death card reverse? Hold on, okay. Page of Wands reverse, Two of Pentacles reverse. Eight of Wands at the bottom. So this is all about communication, but with the Page of Wands reverse, what? Why is the Page of Wands reverse? Tell me more about the Page of Wands reverse with the Two of Pentacles reverse. The Star. Aquarius energy here. I have the Seven of Swords at the bottom. Hmm. I feel like they want to talk about their mistakes here. Maybe they made a wrong choice with the two of pentacles reverse. Maybe they chose the wrong pentacle. I feel like they want to they want to heal this connection or perhaps you're waiting to hear from someone regarding uh healing of a, a connection. But with the seven of swords, I feel like there's something off here. Yeah, it's almost like um, there's disappointment regarding this or someone's not being completely honest or upfront. This could also be that they're trying to be strategic because they have a lot of regrets and they don't want to lose you. Someone's manifesting here. There's something here with the past. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Yeah, they want to restore balance here. This could be someone that you have a very deep attraction to. Um, they want to give you something here. Oh, but then there's... Okay. Okay, so I have the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like in the past, one of you gave and the other one didn't. Like, you know, there's two opposite energies here. One of you held back and the other one was very giving. Um... I feel like you were waiting for a very solid offer from this person, but I don't think it came. I think there was a tower moment here or something that caused a separation of some sort. 
Um, I think deep down you've been wanting this back, but at the same time you want things to be fair to you. So it, it's almost like this person needs to say and do the right thing in order to get you to pay attention or get you to be on board again. There's a lot of healing that needs to happen in this in this connection for the, for for it to really be successful. So let's see what's going on with this moon. Why is the moon here? Yeah, there's there's something off here in the sense that um, I don't know. There's a and there's an illusion here. Tell me more about the moon. There's a seven of swords again, and the knight of pentacles. So it's like this offer that this person brings. It, it could be an illusion. Perhaps they're bringing you something that they feel is exactly what you want, but maybe there's not. Yeah, again with the disappointment. Three of Cups reverse, Nine of Cups, the world reverse. I feel like somebody, um, they they don't want this cycle to end. I feel also this person's thinking of themselves here. Maybe there was an interference in this connection. I feel like that interference is could be someone's ego or pride. Could be that someone is selfish. Um, this interference could be a person. It could be distance. It could be previous baggage from whatever happened between you that's getting in the way. Regardless, I feel like there's something that's going to disappoint you about this offer. Or it's almost like this person has lost you or is missing you. And that's why they're bringing this solid offer here and taking their time to do it. But with the Seven of Swords and this and the Seven of Cups, it's almost like it, there's no not a lot of clarity. There's something shifty here. Something that you can't quite trust. So what's next here? What's this person going to do next? Let me get some insight into what's going to happen next between Sagittarius and this person's spirit. What are their next actions going to be? Towards Sagitt we got the Three of Cups reversed again. What's next here for Sagittarius? Three of Swords. I feel like this person is going to disappoint you or there will be a, a tough conversation that will take place here. Perhaps something only looks good at first. Yeah, the Star Reverse. Um, we have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom. So it could be that there's going to be a shift here, but I feel with the Star Reverse, it's like someone feels this is a hopeless situation or perhaps there's a lot of healing that needs to take place. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Pisces. I have Libra here as well as Leo. So you could be dealing with someone with, with those signs. Um, does not have to be. I feel like there's some sort of interference here. It'll be different for all of you. Um, I think for some reason, I don't know, it's like... It's like when this person shows up... It might be too good to be true. If it's too good to be true, it's probably be for a reason. So just think about that, um, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching, Sagittarius. I hope that this resonated for you. If it did, please hit the like button, subscribe, and let me know down in the comments how it resonated or if it resonated for you. Thank you to everyone who's already done that, to everyone that watches and continues to support the channel. I appreciate it so much, and I will see you all in another video. Take care.